Hi everyone, my name is Jessica Williams, I'm a permanent cosmetic artist and I really wanted to make this video for a while about why it is that I do what I do, why I wake up every day and I love it, why I sit on the phone to clients at 2 o'clock in the morning if they're concerned about anything and I wanted to share that story with you. So. When I was about 13, I contracted ME and I was a really sporty kid. I loved all sort of hockey and tennis and things like that. And suddenly I couldn't do any of that anymore. And I really still wanted to do something that I enjoyed, but I physically could not move. I physically, I was wheelchair bound by the age of 17 and I had to look back into my childhood, my early childhood, as to what I really enjoyed, what made me happy. And the answer was art. It was drawing, it was painting, that really gave me that feeling that you can get, you know, if you're sitting on the beach and relaxing, and that feeling that you get that genuine contentment that genuine happiness is what I found. I would get myself out of bed in the morning, wheel myself over to my canvas and I'd paint and I'd paint all day and no matter what happened, no matter what medication I was on or what the doctors were making me do, no matter how I felt, I could still paint. I could still I could still do what I absolutely loved. When I started to get better and at sort of 18, I started going through recovery and rehabilitation. And I found that I wanted that feeling back. I wanted a job where I could have that feeling every day, that I could wake up in the morning and get genuinely excited, be creative and create something with a talent that I had. I remembered, I almost had sort of an epiphany moment where I remembered a bad experience that I had had with cosmetic tattooing which I'll go into in another video but it was another reason why I do things the way I do them but what I found and I remembered was the permanent makeup and I went to a sort of a test a day to see how I thought about it and I absolutely loved it. I came back and I was so excited. I remember training around Christmas and they put Christmas carols on during my first days of training and I just took to it like that. It, to me, it was just a case of swap a canvas for a face swap the paintbrush for a different needle configuration when they were talking about colour theory and going undertones in the skin and things like that it was so easy for me to take on board because I already had that painting background I used a portrait paint and being able to always draw those things again but in a different style was absolutely amazing to me and I absolutely love it. I love being able to get up every single day and design and make other people happy as well. You know I always say to clients you know when they come back for their four to six week top up it's not for you it's for me and as selfish as that can sound, it is completely true. I like to check it with a painter, with an artist, what you do isn't what you do technically. It is part of you, it is an extension of you and that's what I find with my work. Yeah, okay, I'm a technician, I'm a permanent makeup artist, but I'm also an artist. Every single set of brows that I do, every single eyeliner, every single lip treatment, 
are all to me pieces of art that I am putting onto someone's face but to me they are an extension of me and if someone's walking around with that every day then I want to make sure that is perfect for them naturally but also for me and which is why I sit on the phone with the clients at two or three o'clock in the morning if they're worried about something if they want me to double check something they send me photos send me photos of your eyeliner send me photos of your brows and I'll check it I'll look at it people pop in and I'll check them from 12 months ago two years ago four years ago what do you think and I feel so honored that I have clients that are happy to come in have me check them and for me to be the gauge on whether they need any treatment doing or not and that is because if I view them as still being good you know they haven't faded a lot or anything like that then I will say so if I don't think that they need anything doing I will say so if I feel like they have faded then I'll do something about it so I just wanted to tell my story of how I ended up in the industry that I'm in and yeah and I should make another video coming up on my personal experience with being tattooed um, as a client, as a client from maybe I think about nine years ago and also how it has changed my customer service and how I deal with clients now. So yeah, bye guys, have a good day.